Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. We're back with another unboxed or unboxing video. This is a, is a, uh, a, a tube to unbox. And as you can probably tell because I have the uh, Alien Beast shirt on, um, this is uh, another Alien Beast product to go with the Alien Beast that I have now in the studio, the B1600, the B800. This is the PLM, the 86-inch uh, soft silver umbrella from the uh, Alien Bees Company, that's Paul C. Buff. So let's get this uh, open. I'm gonna cut some tape here on the end. We pull off our end cap, and we should be able to slide it out right there. There we go. So here is the 86, I say it was 86, I think that's right, yes. 86 inch soft silver umbrella. This is the PLM from the Alien Bees. So there it is right there. And it comes in another package here. There's our rod, presumably to attach to uh, a couple of them here, to attach to the um, alien bees. So, and I think this is some in instructions. And we'll unpackage. Nice, uh, you can see right there, it says Paul C. Buff. And uh, nice carrying case for the light modifier, the 86 inch PLM. And this is gonna be a big one, folks. I don't even know, I'm, I'm probably not gonna get up and back out the, um, the uh, video. And then, the other thing we need with this is the speed ring assembly. So this is the Alien Bees, what do they call this one? The Buff Speed Ring Assembly. So that goes, uh, the mount for the Alien Bees, so we can put that on there. So first off, we need to open up our, uh, our PLM, our umbrella here. It's big, folks. It's big. <laughs> First thing I'm noticing here is really nice quality material. Good, solid material. And the umbrella spines are well made. Not, uh, I, I've gone through a lot of cheaper umbrellas for my speed lights over the years. These ones, um, this, the connecting system, well reinforced. They look like they're even like a fiberglass or something. Like these are going to last you quite a while. You're not going to have a problem with them breaking on you. So what I've just done here is to bring the main shaft down through the ribs of the umbrella and then use the lock screw just to get that in position. And then we have the choice of either using the speed ring or just the umbrella rods to put this onto an alien bee. So we're gonna use the speed ring and what we need to do is take the umbrella rod and put it inside the positioning shaft. What we do is put the uh, supplied wing nut in through the front of the uh, speed ring mount and we just twist on the umbrella mounting shaft there until it's good and tight which it is now you can see there's no play in there and then we're just able to feed the speed ring with the shaft in it straight into the um, into the uh, umbrella but then we just adjust the lock screw so that we can line it up with the hole in the, in the positioning shaft. And then we tighten it in. It goes right through the hole in that shaft. And this is now mounted on there just nicely. So I've repositioned the camera now. I don't know, my lighting might be a little hot here, but essentially I just want to show you the um, 86 inch PLM on the Alien B here. This is the B800. We've got it on a uh, Manfrotto Nano Stand, Manfrotto Nano Stand, um, which ideally is probably a little small stand for this, but I just wanted to show you illustration-wise, this is a huge umbrella, this 86-inch umbrella. I didn't realize how big this thing is. So basically, here's the, the umbrella. I have to be careful not to hit the ceiling with it. I mean, look at it in comparison to me. I mean, I, it's, it's touching the floor now, and it's still over my head. It's a big umbrella. 
which is awesome because it gives you a very, very big light source for very soft, beautifully diffused light. Probably knocking boxes over here because normally when you're working with this, you're not worried about the video equipment and, uh, and, and uh, doing a video to show somebody. You're just setting up. But I've got stuff in the way there. Anyways, it's as easy as this. Once you got the speed ring into the umbrella, you pinch the antenna on the B and you just bring it back nice and easy. Slide it into the B's mounting system there. Just be careful of the flash tube that you don't damage it. But that's it on the B right there. And uh, let's see if I can move this a little to show you more of a head-on view. So you can't see the umbrella as well, but there's the mounting system on the B right here. You can see how big an umbrella this thing is. I'll see if I can grab another camera and do some shots for you so I can, you can just see the various components and, and see it set up here because it's pretty neat, pretty impressive. Anyways, folks, there you go. That is the 86-inch silver umbrella from the uh, Alien Bees from the Paul C. Buff Company. It is... Um, massive i'm really looking forward to doing some shots with this to see you know the light quality what we can get out of this because this is like basically gives you a huge softbox in the studio um at a very very reasonable price so check them out paul c buff if you're interested uh stay tuned we'll be showing you some shots from the shoots we're doing with this and also we'll be keeping you up to date with what's going on in the world of photography videography and technology right here at artoftheimage.com and if you have any questions about the 86-inch PLM, if you have any questions about the Alien Bees, leave them in the comments below. We'll see if we can get them answered for you. Thanks, folks.